Hello my friends, welcome back, it's Marilyn here. I have this layout as tutorial today that I made with the January limited edition kit. It is my third project with this kit. And I'm going to start to show you the photo. This is, uh, well, let me show you. This is my daughter, my sister, and my nieces that they came for first time uh, to visit me here in the United States. I already rounded the corner with my crop a dial. I put a white card stock behind the photo and uh, it is ready. These are the two papers that I'm going to use today and I'm going to work over a uh, ivory uh, uh, cardstock. I'm going to use this element that I cut from one of the paper. It is an envelope and I love this because the um, my sister and my niece was my Christmas gift. So this is the, the, the concept to use this envelope. Okay, now I'm going to use one of my favorite uh, border punches. It is from Martha Stewart. And I'm going to punch all this border uh, as you see. And let me uh, finish this uh, tip here. Okay, it is ready. Let me clean this mess and I'm, let's get started. Okay, now I want to put, uh, I want, this is my idea to put, uh, they are uh, getting out from the envelope, something like that. This is my uh, principal idea. So let's, uh, I'm going to eliminate like a one half and, and an inch, more or less, um, because I want to show uh, the beautiful uh, pattern paper from the collection. This is the French, the blue French collection, I think it is uh, the name. And uh, it's uh, featuring this month in the January limited edition kit. You still have time to get one of these gorgeous kits. I'm going to let you in the description box down below the link to this beautiful kit. Here I am preparing the paper, I am priming, and I'm using this uh, makeup brush. But let me tell you, it's not my favorite, <laughs> but I'm going. I use it, but it's not. It takes more time. Um, I don't know. If you want to add texture in an even way, use it. If not, mm -mm. okay. Now that I prime the paper, I'm going to add texture. I already made marks in the area that I'm going to place the photo and the envelope. And once I have this and everything is dry, is that I am giving the texture. I am using modeling paste, white modeling paste and cover the area that has the uh, pencil marks or behind the pencil mark the area that i want to add texture i don't want to cover the, the uh, all the ivory uh, cardstock but i want to uh, give interest a texture around the all uh, the area that i'm going to work once uh, i give the texture i'm going to let it dry and i'm going to cut uh, like a two inches two and a half inches of this uh, piece pattern paper and I let me, I'm going to share with you one of the mistake because we are learning every day I use this old paper that is from I think it's an old collection from Boboni and I'm going to use this as you know to reinforce uh, my page I use it on the background and I adhere the small piece here to one of the sides of the paper and then I put adhesive and I'm going to adhere now the uh, my ivory paper <laughs> but once I have I am adhering this is that I notice that I can see through the white uh, the ivory paper all the you can see all the pattern design so I immediately remove it and I have I need to cut this piece now from and I'm going to put everything on a white cardstock. Uh oh, look who is here. Amy. Amy is oh, is my scrap pal as I call her. She's always behind me. Um, but she loves to jump in the desk, no matter what I am doing, to see what what mommy is doing. So I'm always uh it is, you know, I love her so much. She is uh she brings me so much joy <laughs> and is always playing with all the things but it's uh, yeah i need to be careful when i am working because he she just jump no matter what i'm doing take so she did it again anyway now i add here uh the paper and you can see 
it, this is uh, the correct way. So the, if, if the paper is white or ivory, try to use a neutral, similar color uh, as to reinforce the paper, the page. Okay, now I am adhering the uh, construction and adhering the envelope. I just love this. It came to different pattern of envelopes in these uh, pattern papers. And also in this kit, I come with these uh, she boards and I'm going to do uh, a fast tip for this. <laughs> I'm going to add direct uh, white paint over this uh, chipboard. I'm using this one, the acrylic paint from Michaels. I think it's from the uh, the brand is. Um, oh, let me see if I I don't have it here right now, but I think it's the. I will let you uh, down below the the brand, but it's the one that Michaels. Uh, it's not recollection. I'm not sure. Anyway, I am using a sponge, a makeup sponge, to uh, paint the chipboards, and I dab in the white acrylic paint. I will apply like two coats of this acrylic paint, and it uh, it covers very well the chipboard. And I'm going to do the same with the second one. And once I paint this, I'm going to dry uh, with my heat tools, but chipboards. Okay, now that everything is dry, I'm going. To, uh, I want to add a little dimension to the envelope, so I am adhering a piece of chipboard behind the the big uh, envelope here. And with the photo, I will do the same, but I will add two layers of chipboard because I want to highlight more the photo than the rest of the elements that I'm going to add. And you can see here how lovely I have this dolly in my desk and I use it here. I uh, cut it by half and I'm planning to add a piece of this uh, doily here between the photo and the envelope and the other one in the top corner of the photo here. Okay, just to add uh, this lovely touch behind the photo and to enhance more the area. Then I'm going to add one of the shibboard here alongside the photo as you see, and the other one, uh, I think that I am planning, let me see, to put it um, here, not sure at this moment, so I'm going to let aside at this moment, and I work, I'm going to work with the Prima Flowers from the kit, but first let me add a few of these cards from the uh, ephemera package, and I put a card, and let me move it a little. Uh, this is like a ruler, it's so cute and blue, and a ticket. They are they are all come out from uh, my envelope, like the gift that is my sister, my nieces, my daughter. Uh, they they we had uh, a great time. No matter that we were all sick, but we were together. Uh, and now I will add the flowers, the Prima flowers. I'm going to play with this bunch of flowers to give a shape here. And I am playing, continue playing with the different elements here. And I think that I'm going to add a touch of blue and I'm going to use from this package one of the blue flowers here. I want to add this here and all match with the photo too that I was so happy for that. Sometimes it's hard to match uh, the paper with the flowers, with the photos that we have, but this match perfect. Okay, I already adhered everything, and you can see how it looks now. Now I'm going to use, the. this is the Victoria Velvet color. This is the Distress Ink, and I take a dry brush, and I am blending the ink in the background, I started with a light soft coat. I am trying to give around the photo and all these elements like a shadow, a pink shadow around all these. So you will see that I am very carefully to add the color. So I will start with a light coat, then I will bring another uh, layer until I am happy with the tone of color that I was looking. And I continue to keep blending, blending. You can use a brush. Uh, uh, I mean a sponge if you like. I prefer the brush with the soft, uh, a soft brush because uh, I can blend better the color and you know sometimes if you 
are not careful with the sponge, you will have this spot. Um, look here. I just like it in that way. Now I'm going to use my Sharpie. This is, uh, I think it's from oil, this Sharpie that I have. And it's in white, but be, take a look what happened. You need to be careful because if you push uh, the tip, they uh, bleed uh, on the paper. So I am carefully, uh, what I'm doing right now is like a cover the area of the stencil work with this white uh, marker. I am trying to uh, highlight all the textures on the background. So I am basically, I am painting the stencil work on the background and I am also adding some spot or dots of white uh, with white marker and I will do this around all the photo you can see it here once I did that I'm going to add now the paper flowers that I cut from the papers some are from the ephemera but uh, basically uh, many of them I cut it from the different papers uh, and I will add a toast here behind. I also add in the flower cluster here a piece of cheesecloth. So I am now enhancing all the flowers with different layers with these uh, papers, flower papers. And now I'm adding uh, the butterflies here. These are from the Fimira packaging. The only thing is that I cut the white border that they they came with this white border around, but I don't like it, so I cut them out. Once I adhere everything, now I'm going to uh, make my title, and I am using this ABC came in the January limited edition kit, and I'm going to uh, put the word reunited because finally we are reunited. My sister didn't see my kids since uh, I think 10 years that she didn't see uh, my daughter Paola. So finally they were reunited and Paola was so happy to have uh, her TT. <laughs> her auntie is, is like, auntie is the same that TT in Spanish, we say TT. Um, so she was so excited uh, to have her niece, uh, to her cousins and her auntie with her. And here I'm going to adhere everything and now I'm going to show you what else I add. I add a bunch, but well not a bunch, a few of these uh, bottoms here and there. And I am also, I'm going to adhere some pearls. And I am planning to put this in a, on the on the wall <laughs> i am, i don't know if i'm going to uh frame this or put it on on an album not sure yet but this page is mine <laughs> so now i'm adding pearls that is the reason that you see that i put buttons and, per and pearls and all the things that i love because and also i don't want to make this page so we see i tried you know that they look delicate beautiful and simple uh, i think i love more that style for me and now i'm adding some sequence here and there i will add sequence around all these and now i'm going also to add some dots of white pearls and i'm going to put a tiny dot of this around all the area. I am showing you just a fraction of the time because I don't want to make the video too longer and I put also the white pearls gel over the flowers. And you can see and I think it will be, I, I you know I will have a more, uh, one more step now. Once I did this and everything is dry, I take a brush dry a dry brush and I am cleaning all this because uh, Amy left me some hair and also the uh, the hot glue left uh, a lot of uh, glue thread so I remove everything clean and I now I cover the photo and I'm going to give white paint splatters over all this area and I think this is my last step 
and I hope that you like this project. If you like it, let me know with a thumbs up and share this video with someone that uh, loves scrapbooking or are planning to do something. Uh, maybe it inspired them and it's almost finished. I give a few quotes and let me remove this before I show you this. Okay, it's what but I'm going to show you. Let me remove this and take a look i just love it it's simple but for me it's beautiful i love it and i'm so happy uh, for what that this page means to me and i hope that you enjoy it too let me know what is the part that you like the most take a look closer here and i am also going to let you the photos in <coughs> In my social media, I'm going to let you the links down below so you can follow me there and take a closer look to the photo if you are planning uh, to make something similar. And as always, I'm going to let you now two more videos that maybe uh, inspire you. Uh, take uh, You can visit my channel and take a look between all the videos and maybe you find something that inspire you. Well, my friend, see you. Nos vemos. Bye-bye.